Hey guys, um, I cut off all my hair, but that's besides the point. So we're going to be going through Edith Ann Reich's Paper Sloyd. So this book is in the Google Archives, so you can print it off for free. You can also buy a copy on Amazon. And we have been doing this for school. So this semester, Ruben and I, that's my six-year-old, are doing the first year models. Those are here. Next year, when he is in second grade, we will do the second year models. And in third grade, we will do the third year models, more than likely. Um, and I looked on YouTube to see if there were any tutorials because sometimes the instructions are really confusing. And there were zero, zero paper sloyd videos. So I was like, you know what? I love YouTube and I miss making videos. I should make paper sloyd videos. So here we are. We're going to start with number one and work our way through them. And I will show you how I interpret the instructions and also some differences because this was written in the 1900s or the 1850s or something, I'm not exactly sure. And some of the materials are not available. They just aren't. So this is a paper slide. For the first nine projects, you're using manila drawing paper and I'm just using construction paper or cardstock which works just fine. Now for my six-year-old, I will pre-cut his square um, just because he's not very good at measuring and drawing his square. And if you start off with the wrong size square, you're not going to be able to make the first project. All right. So the first thing we're going to make is the envelope or a little note that you can pass. So what you're going to do is you're going to need a ruler, a pencil, and either a sharp knife for cutting or a pair of scissors. So I like to start at the edge of the paper. So measure six inches. We're going to make a six inch square. Make a mark. Now trying to keep your ruler straight, measure up to six inches and draw a straight line. There's my line. Now we're going to measure over six inches and draw another line. And now we are going to cut out our square. Now, when you're looking at the drawing that she has, the solid lines are where you are um, drawing lines or cutting, and the dotted lines that she puts on here are where you're folding. Now this would be where you would write your note. But first, we're going to make and bisect it. So draw a line straight across from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. And then we're going to bisect it again this way. And draw another line. And here we have found our center. This is where you should tell your student that this is the center point and these are bisecting. All right, so now we're going to do folding for our note. Now it simply tells us to fold all the corners in to the center. So this is like a little note that your student can pass to a friend. So you're going to fold everything into the center. And it says to put a bit of gum right here. I don't know how to say that other word, but I guess there'd be like a thing that in the olden times you could put right here. We just simply used a sticker. So here is where your student would write their little note or do a little drawing. Then they could fold it up, put a sticker here on the back, put the name and pass it to a person. And there is the first 
paper sploid envelope, six by six inches, finished.